Hi folks, it's Switchback. Let's nerd out over treating your clothes with permethrin. I'm gonna put chapters here so that you can skip ahead if you don't care about how permethrin works or any side effects from it. You can just skip right ahead to how to treat your clothes with permethrin. So let's get nerdy. All right, what is permethrin? And how does it work? It's a synthetic insecticide in the perethroid family. I got that right on the first try. Basically, it acts like natural extracts that come from the chrysanthemum flower. Permethrin leads to muscle spasms, paralysis, and death of insects, including flies, mosquitoes, ticks, mites, fleas, cockroaches, and many more. It's often used on livestock and horses. It's the active ingredient in flea collars and it's the active ingredient in treatments for lice and scabies. When permethrin is wet, it is toxic for cats. And the reason for this is that it takes them longer to break it down than it does for dogs or humans. However, once it's dry, it is no longer toxic for cats. It is carcinogenic if you eat it and it is used as a pesticide. And if you're exposed to it for long periods of time over with high doses, it is safe to use in pregnancy. And there's no evidence that kids are more susceptible to side effects than adults are. It is toxic to fish and other water creatures. It's not toxic for mammals and birds, but other ingredients that are mixed in with the permethrin can be toxic for birds. It doesn't mix very well with water. And so it adheres to sediment and it can be found in water sources for over a year. That said, because it does not mix well with water and tends to adhere to sediment and to soil and such, it does not tend to contaminate groundwater. What are the side effects of permethrin? Usually they only happen in high doses. Topically, it can cause irritation, burning, itching, and tingling. If you get permethrin in your eyes, it can cause pain, burning, and redness. Inhaling permethrin can lead to dizziness, shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, and headaches. Eating permethrin can lead to a sore throat, abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. Dogs and cats may act strangely. They may flick their paws, twitch their skin or ears, or roll on the ground. And if they lick it off of their fur, they may drool or smack their lips. Again, cats are more susceptible to it, and so they may seem anxious, walk abnormally, have muscle tremors, seizures, and again, death. Permethrin acts as an insect repellent for clothing and gear. It's usually good on clothing for about six washes, unless you were to send it to insect shield or it comes with insect shield, in which case it will last about 70 washes, which is roughly the life cycle of any given piece of clothing. For gear and clothing that isn't washed, it will last about four to six weeks. Just treat your outer clothing. Don't worry about your underclothes, your base layers. You really just need to do the outside stuff. Saturate your clothing and gear when you are treating it. A light spray is not going to do the job. You can use a permethrin spray or you can use the bucket method. I have done both. I have found that the spray, if you have the option of using the bucket, is really laborious and um, it takes a lot to get everything wet down, but you also go through less of it. For something like a backpack, it's going to be much easier if you were to spray it versus try to dunk it in a bucket or something like that. But for clothing, for my tent fly, I have done those using the bucket method. You wanna dilute any permethrin that you're using to a 0.5% solution. Sawyer permethrin comes in a 0.5% solution. I choose to get Martin's, which is at 10%. So you dilute it one part of the permethrin to 20 parts of water. So for a gallon, that's about six ounces, roughly. And when I did mine, I did a gallon of water and then the six ounces of permethrin. And I was able to do four long sleeve shirts, two head nets, one hat, three pairs of pants, and three pairs of shorts. Make sure that you're using your permethrin spray or bucket of permethrin in a well-ventilated area and then let everything dry in a shaded area. The stuff that I used doing the bucket method will take longer to dry. In either case, it will take several hours to dry. 
dry that in the shade because sun does break down permethrin. Using a permethrin spray should not be your only plan of attack against insects. And I have a whole video right up here about how to choose the best insect repellent and why you might choose one over another. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, be sure to like it down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Bye.